and I want to share my experience of T-Mobile's network, their devices, and how the whole process goes. Let's go ahead and get started. So in case you guys are familiar with T-Mobile's test drive, essentially what it is, you can go to the T-Mobile website and once every billing cycle, you can get an iPhone 5S loaded with an unlimited data plan that you can try their network. And that's it, you return the device, they take the hold off your credit card and you're done. So I wanted to see what it was like. I've been with AT&T for, since they were singular actually, so this goes back probably six, seven years uh, up until this point. But I wanted to see what T-Mobile service is all about. They've been talking about how good their data is sort of in big metro areas and here in Southern California would qualify as one. So it's gonna be a great opportunity to not only document the process, of getting the phone, but how the experience with T-Mobile was, and then how it was to return it. So I went to the T-Mobile slash test drive page, I signed up, uh, phone came two days later, and it comes in a sort of a weird box. It doesn't come in like a regular iPhone box. What they send you now uh, is an iPhone 5S. I got a 32 gig black one. Uh, you can't pick the color. I don't think you can pick the size either. I think it might depend uh, whatever they have in stock. And it showed up uh, inside of the box. It's everything you'd get inside of a regular iPhone box. It's all sealed and brand new, but that might change as the program you know, gets older. Uh, then a little bit of plastic was the iPhone 5S. I turned it on and I was good to go. And that was it. It was already uh, activated, asking if I wanted to set up my account on it. And that was really it. And I was kind of off and running. Uh, so I tried it for the first day and the second day, I got a call from T-Mobile on that line saying, hey, you wanna see how you're going with the test drive? Uh, if you want to forward your call suite, here's how you do it. If you wanna download apps to sort of do speed tests, uh, here are the apps to try. So the first thing I did was I ran speed tests everywhere I went. I had uh, at and phone, I had my T-Mobile phone, I would just speed test in like a fool. Uh, and it was pretty interesting to see. Obviously, this is totally subjective depending on where you live and that kind of stuff. But in Southern California, uh, T-Mobile's down data speeds were really, really, really fast. Uh, on average, about two times faster uh, than what I was seeing on AT&T. Uh, generally, AT&T, I'd get anywhere from uh, one megabit uh, down all the way up to maybe nine to 12 was the highest I got. At T-Mobile, I was regularly seeing speeds up to 36 uh, down. I know some people uh, get way faster speeds. I know the folks like in Atlanta and Dallas, uh, their AT&T speeds are super off the chart. Uh, on the upload side, it was kind of even. AT&T and T-Mobile were about the same, somewhere hovering between two to six uh, on the upside, but it was really, really fast uh, on the download, and I was blanketed in LTE where I was. But then I went into my house. Uh, inside of my house, I dropped down to one bar of 4G, and sometimes if I was lucky, I would get two bars of Edge, which is tough to make phone calls on. And sometimes they even get the dreaded no service thing uh, up there. So I sent a tweet to T-Mobile, and they gave me an email address to email. Uh, to sort of talk about service issues. So I did another email address, doesn't have my name on it, on the outside chance maybe my name would get recognized, I'd get some special treatment, which I didn't want. Uh, so it was uh, the T-Force team, they call it. Uh, so I emailed them, said, hey, here's what I'm problem having, here's my address, here's the phone number. I got an email back almost in an hour saying, here's your case number, registering it, we're gonna do what we can to try and fix your service. And it was really cool to see, obviously, don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Um, the nice thing, I guess, about T-Mobile is they've got Wi-Fi calling. Uh, iOS 8 will support Wi-Fi calling, so presumably as the test drive goes on uh, and iOS 8 comes out on the iPhone 6, it'll be really nice, you can just do Wi-Fi calling wherever uh, you are. Let me interrupt the video real fast. Thank our friends at Audible. You know them, you love them, you should definitely be using them. They are the largest purveyor of downloadable audiobooks, things from mystery to romance. I'm not gonna judge you, fiction, nonfiction, everything in between. Listen to them in your car, at the gym, on your iPhone, your Android device, wherever you are, you could listen to Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get your free audiobook download. Again, that's audiblepodcast slash techno to get your free audiobook. Again, whatever you've been thinking about reading, now is a perfect time to listen to it while you're making your daily commute. Now back to the video. So what you guys are all saying, why an iPhone? Why only an iPhone? Well, right now, it's all T-Mobile offers. Uh, the really only flaw I see in their test drive program is that you can't pick the device you want. You know, an iPhone 5S might get different reception than a Galaxy S5 or an HTC One. It'd be nice to pick, and T-Mobile has said they will offer other devices. The reason that they picked the iPhone, they answered this in a Q&A during the Young Carrier event, was they didn't think people knew they had the iPhone. So it really was kind of a PR thing. Like, hey, we've got the iPhone. You too can have the iPhone here. Go ahead and try it. Um, so the seven days were up. I got a text message on the sixth day saying, hey, you can return your phone tomorrow. You can return it to any sort of T-Mobile uh, retail store. And I took it back. It was actually the first one that had returned a uh, test drive phone. It took about 10 minutes. I got a receipt saying I returned it, hold it, take it off my card, and that was it. It was a super, super seamless experience. At the very least, if you want to think about switching to an iPhone, you can try an iPhone for a week and see how that experience is. And give it a shot. There's sort of no risk to you. 100% charge comes off your card, so there's no cost. It was just a really cool program. I think T-Mobile is doing a very nice job with all their uncarrier announcements they've been doing. Uh, this one, that was the first time I really wanted to try the service and sort of use it as my daily phone. And, uh, overall, I came away pretty impressed. Uh, so what do you guys think? Is something you would try, not try? What do you want to see change about the test drive program? Leave in the comments down below. And the folks at T-Mobile, uh, I would guess, are probably going to uh, watch this video, at least I hope. Uh, and maybe they'll take your comments the heart. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'm John Renger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye.
Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We'll be the first ones to know whenever we upload new content. We've got new stuff coming every single day. We want to make sure you see what's new in the world of consumer electronics.